Yeah, I mean, it sucks, obviously. Um, you never want to get embarrassed like that. And we just didn't come out to play. I mean, we had a good first couple of shifts, but then after that, they got one. And uh, we just kind of unraveled from there and couldn't get anything going. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of the bounces weren't going our way from that. You see a puck goes off Hyman's face and then, uh, a couple of miscommunication plays behind the net. And they, they get a nice little bounce for themselves. But uh, overall, I thought we played a strong game yesterday for ourselves. You don't get bounces. And, uh, I mean, we still got a lot of life in this room. I mean, we got another game on Tuesday against St. John's. And, I mean, it's do or die now, right? I mean, we're on the line. Our lives are on the line here. Our backs are against the wall. And we got a lot of work to do. And I think we can do it. I mean, we've done it all year. And uh, nothing changes now. Keith Dotson, OHL Pucks and Stripes, reporting here from the WFCU Center in Windsor, Ontario, with continuing coverage of the 2017 MasterCard Memorial Cup. Game three is in the books, and the Windsor Spitfires took it handily, really. Um, you, you look at a 7-1 win, and there's no question on who was in the driver's seat the whole time. Uh, Windsor scored three goals in the first period, 38 seconds apart, really, and um, that caused a uh, goalie change, slowed things down a little bit, but in the second period, uh, both teams were able to get a goal, and then in the third period, uh, Windsor was able to put on another three goals, uh, and Seattle is now really, ha Seattle now has their backs against the wall. Uh, losing the first two games back to back. Um, one thing could probably be said is that the schedule was probably unkind to Seattle, uh, having to play a back to back to open up the series, whereas Windsor had a day off between games. Um, but unfortunately, that is the way things go. Um, you look at a little bit of how they played between yesterday and today, and they weren't as they were trying to check more but you just saw the passes were either getting poked uh poked off the lane by windsor or that you know seattle when they were making a pass they would miss passes uh the puck would bounce off the stick pass their stick um so they really couldn't get any sustained offense going um big thing also was that seattle unfortunately was not able to get a shot in the first period until 11 and a half minutes in that doesn't help. In the first period, they only actually got three shots on net. Um, so, unfortunately, Seattle's backs are against the wall. Um, tomorrow's game, we do have the Erie Otters versus the St. John Sea Dogs. Uh, that will be interesting to see. Uh, both uh, if Erie does pull that one ahead, that would be 2-0 for both OHL teams. And the following day, you would have St. John versus Seattle. Um, which would be a pretty critical game for both teams, depending on how tomorrow ends up. So, reporting for OHL Pucks and Stripes, remembering that you can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash OHL Pucks. Follow us on Twitter, at OHL Pucks, and also visit our website, ohlpucks.com. This is Keith Dotson reporting live from Windsor. Have a great day.